Viewer discretion is advised. What is going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new episode of Train Simulator 2020. Today we're going to be out here in the Pacific Surfliner route working for BNSF today. Um, we're actually going to be taking a string of hopper cars or grain cars I should say that were over here that were stored out here in San Diego and we're actually going to take them to up. We're actually going to be taking them to uh, Los Angeles for the most part. And then they're going to be shipped off on a train out of here to go up to Montana for the most part. So we're just going to be taking them over there so they can get shipped off to Montana. But we are not actually going to be taking this train all the way to Los Angeles. I figured we'd do something fun today. And we're actually just going to be taking this train through San Diego. And kind of explore the uh, parts of San Diego on this map that barely ever get looked at and whatnot because you come back over here i didn't realize that the surfliner route extended out that far and extended out far over here where there's just track and like no scenery no nothing i didn't realize that it extended out that far so that's what we're going to be kind of going through today is kind of coming out of the yard over here in san diego heading past the san diego santa fe station heading towards old town and just stopping at Old Town for the most part. So let's go ahead and hop in our uh, B40-8W locomotive here. BNSF number 538. Got two matching war bonnet schemes here. And these were made by IN12. So they're very nice looking locomotives. Even better looking on the inside over here. Super, super nice. You can open up some windows. We can open up the door back here if we really wanted to. Here's a look at the engineer side. We come over here, conductor side. All right, so let's go ahead and start highballing this thing. Let's go ahead and put the throttle in forward, release that brake, and let's go ahead and put on some headlights here. Now, the one thing I don't understand is that the ditch lights on this locomotive flash, and for a BNSF locomotive, that's kind of weird. But they do flash. Let's go ahead and start throttling this bad boy up. There we go. Don't want to go too crazy on the power just starting out out of here out of the yard. But yeah, this is one of Ian's like um, older locomotives and stuff like that. But they still do look super nice. I like the two different tones of War Bonnet Red on the locomotives. Like this one's more of a lighter. And that one's more of a darker. I do like it though. Um, looks like we're coming up on a clear signal here out of San Diego. Little radio up there. Got the cab light. BNSF-8-BNSF-8-40BW number 550. Even though this is 538. And I think that one's going to say the same. Yeah, it's going to say 550. So yeah. They're all going to say the same. Looks like we're going to be on a clear indicator out of here. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright, so we're going to start slowing down here because we are speeding. Hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. Hope you guys truly are. We're just out here running this freight train. Stored hopper cars because of COVID-19. And now they're actually coming back into service here it looks like. So we're going to be on an approach signal coming up on uh, single track territory over here. So I've got the horn coming up because we got some crossings. So I'm going to go shut up here once we get closer to the crossings. And yeah. But I've never actually been out here except for like one scenario. And that is like a uh, um, fictional Amtrak route that ended up coming out over here. Back to where we actually started this train at. And that's the only scenario that I've actually seen that goes out this way. But I'm gonna start uh, the but I'm gonna start the uh, crossing sequence. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut up now.
There we go. I think there's going to be another crossing coming up. Which looks like I got another two crossings coming up on a stop indicator. So I got an approach. Probably going to be on a diversion clear or something like that along those lines. I'm not 100% certain. But we are coming up on a uh, speed indicator here. So we're going to start slowing down. And I'm going to start uh, doing the crossing sequence for both of these crossings. And that is one of the like main reasons why I love running trains out here in San Diego is because of all the grade crossings and all like the horn I can like blow and stuff like that. So I'm just like I just really enjoy driving trains out here in San Diego. Looks like we're going to be on a restricting signal coming into San Diego here. Very nice. Got our hopper cars following us here. Stored brand new BNSF hopper cars that were uh, stored out here due to COVID-19. But now they're back on going back into regular service. But yeah, it looks like we're going to be coming up on a uh, clear indicator, I believe. So it looks like we're going to be going on track two, I think. Maybe. Yep. Or track four, I guess I should say. And the actual BNSF railway terms will be track four. One thing I did notice is that the... Um, bell or the engine and stuff like that does not you know quiet down whenever the windows are shut or whatever so i know this is that's more of an older model but the only reason why i did this scenario is because of the horn action that we can get on this route right here so if you guys do like the horn of looks or it's like the sound of the horn on the locomotives this is the perfect video for you because we're about to go through a shit ton more crossing so stay tuned ladies and gentlemen And trust me, there is a lot more crossings to go. 
So I do apologize if you guys are watching this video and the horn does annoy you a little bit. Um, the only reason I basically did this video is for all the horn lovers out there on the railroad. I know it's not one of the best sounding horns out there. But I mean, hey, it's it works for what it is. Um, I wanted to use this locomotive for this just because, I mean, I haven't used them yet. And they looked cool. I can't find any sound packs for them. But we got a couple more crossings coming up, so I will be getting back to you guys here in a jiffy. But yeah, if you guys don't have the Pacific Surfliner route, literally all of San Diego is literally a just a giant whistle post due to all the crossings we have. It looks like our rear of the train just cleared the um, station track there, so we're actually just coming past that third crossing there as we're coming up on another one over here. And then we've got a couple more becoming in the old town. Got a clear indicator coming up there. We're going to be stopping at Tecolote Main 1. And I think we have another crossing coming up after this curve here, which it looks like we do. And another one coming up right there. Aren't those just some nice war bonnet locomotives? I mean, they're not like the cleanest that you can get, but they do have that like weathered look to them, like they've been in active service for a while. And you know, they're just kind of like ready for ready for a repaint, even though these shouldn't get repainted. But you know, they just look like they're ready for a repaint. They've been used, they have been abused and stuff like that. So, we got some more crossings coming up over here. So we got another clear indicator coming into whatever station this is. And uh, yeah, I will be getting back to you guys here once this crossing is cleared. Apparently I can do something with the meter here, but apparently I don't know what I can do with it. I can like grab it, but I can't really do much with it. That doesn't really make any sense to me. But yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you guys are, do make sure you hit the like button. Hopefully you guys are enjoying all the horn action if you guys are like horn lovers on trains and stuff like that. Uh, do let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys are enjoying it. If you guys want to see me do more videos like styles like this. Well, we're not doing any scenario. We're just kind of, you know, driving a train from just random point to a random point on the map. 
and stuff like that. So do let me know down in the comment section down below if that is something you'd be interested in. I think it said there was a whistle post coming up, but I don't think there's one up until Old Town. So, but yeah, make sure you guys follow me on all social media as well. And join the Discord server. Everything you need to know is down in the description down in the description down below. As well as a link to this locomotive and where the hopper cars came from as well. Because I believe they're from the same person. So just letting you guys know, I will have links down to everything you guys need to know it is down in the description down below. I believe we're coming into Old Town right here. The Old Town Station. Very nice. All our cars are on the straight path right now. But we're coming up on the stop here and we're going to be coming up on our stop. So we're going to start slowing down and sounding the horn. You got a clear indicator, which is good. Alright, so we're about 40 uh, miles an hour there. Uh, we're coming up on a single track territory over here. Coming into Tecalote. I believe that's how you pronounce it is Tecalote. And coming in the single track territory. Not quite sure where these go. I think they just kind of split off over here for the most part. Uh, let's check the let's check the handy dandy map actually. Yeah, they just split off into a portal, so. But yeah, Tecalote main one is right after that signal over there. So we were on main two for the most part. And why is the cab door open? I didn't open it. Oh, I guess M opens the cab door. Interesting. Okay. That works. That works. But yeah, we were just going to come up on the other side of that switch, or uh, the second switch over there. Stop our train. And have a blast doing it. I have a feeling it's just going to go straight into an emer straight to emergency once that does happen. So, I'm um, not quite sure what the deal is or what the deal is going to be. But, yeah, so. Go ahead and start slowing her down so we can get down or get slowed down after the uh, switch clears here. Because uh, we are going straight to main one. We'll go ahead and release the brakes. Coming up on Tecalote Main 1. Here we go. I think it's just going to throw a straight new emergency. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. So final destination has been reached. Alright guys. Well that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. I hope you guys did enjoy all the horn action in this video. Um, like I said, if you guys want to see more of it, do let me know down in the comment section down below. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and your week. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out, everyone.